الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد حبت في الله from some of the jewels and pearls of the salaf of your salaf قال إمام ابن القيم رحمه الله تعالى قال بعد السلف ابن القيم said some of the salaf used to say لولا مصائب الدنيا لوردنا ورد القيامة مفاليس He said that if there wasn't that the Salaf used to say that if there wasn't trials in the dunya difficulties in this life then our mentioning of Qiyama would be uh, a waste قال ابن القيم رحمه رحمه الله تعالى ولهذا كان الصبر عن معاسي اللسان والفرج من أصعب أنواع الصبر لشدة الداعية إليهما وسهولتهما ابن القيم said رحمه الله تعالى and he said for this reason patience in the sinfulness of the tongue and the private parts being patient with regards to committing sin with the tongue and the private parts is one of the most difficult types of patience due to the ease with which they fall into sin and due to the amount or the various ways that uh, they call to sin. قال حافظ المندري رحمه الله تعالى and this is regarding the benefits of علم knowledge والناسق العلم النافع له أجره وأجر من قرأه أو نسخه أو عمل به من بعده ما باقي خطه الحافظ المنذري رحمه الله تعالى he said the one who copies knowledge you know so this is for like book printers especially prior to this they had to copy by hand who, who copies beneficial knowledge that he receives reward for it and the reward of the one who reads this knowledge or the one who copies it or the one who does it after him you know practice it after him as long as his writing still ex uh, still is, uh, exist قال ابن القيم قسوة القلب من أربع أشياء إذا جاوزت قدر حاجة الأكل والنوم والكلام والمخالطة ابن القيم said in his book فوائد he said the hard heart is from four things if the person indulges in them beyond their needs the first is eating sleeping speaking and then mixing with the people and the last narration or the last statement of Ibn al-Qayyim will read which has to do with the ghurba, the strangeness of Islam qala ibn al-Qayyim rahimahullah ta'ala أهل الإسلام في الناس غرباء والمؤمنون في أهل الإسلام غرباء وأهل علم في المؤمنين غرباء وأهل السنة الذين يميزونها من الأهواء والبدع هم غرباء وداعيون إليها الصابرون على أذى المخالفين هم الشد هؤلاء غرباء ولكن هؤلاء هم أهل أهل الله حقا فلا غرابة عليهم وإنما غربتهم بين الأكثرين الذين قال الله عز وجل فيهم وإن تطع أكثر من من في الأرض يضلوك عن سبيل الله فأولئك هم الغرباء من من الله ورسوله وغربتهم هي غربة موحشة ابن القيم said 
Ahl Islam, the people of Islam, from amongst the people are strange, or to, the, to most of the people are strange. And the Mu'mins from amongst the people of Islam are strange. You know, strange or foreign. Wa ahl ilm fil mu'minin and the people of knowledge from amongst the believers are strange. And ahl sunnah, those who distinguish themselves from the people of desires in bid'ah, they are strange. And the ones who call to it, who call to the sunnah and, and, and are patient upon the harm from those people who differ with them, they are even more strange. However, those people are the people of, of Allah in reality, meaning that they're protected and loved, beloved to Allah. They're called to Allah and they adhere to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's deen and Allah will raise them. There is no strangeness with them. Verily, the strangeness is with most of the people. Those who Allah the Almighty has said about them that if you follow most of them, most of the people in the earth, they will misguide you from the path of Allah. Then Ibn al Qayyim said, Then those, they are the strangers. And from Allah and His Messenger, their strangeness is like the strangeness uh, of a strange creature. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best is that last statement. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Anything I said that was correct was from Allah Azza wa Jal. Anything I said that was incorrect was from myself and the shaitan. May Allah bless us with ilm and nafi. It was kintaybu ilm and muthaqabinan. And may Allah forgive us of our many sins. And may Allah bless us with a class with the bat. And may Allah bless the Muslims everywhere and forgive the Muslims everywhere and guide the Muslims everywhere. And may Allah bless us to be from Ahl Sunnah. And may Allah protect us from the shubahat and the shahwat. The shubahat being, meaning the strange ideologies and the bid'ah and the khurafat and the, and the shirk and all of those foreign ideologies to Islam. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us with firmness on the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and protect us from the shahwat, uh, our wicked desires, uh, uh, all of those wicked things which take us away from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us to come closer to Him during this holy month of Ramadan. Wa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ala nabiyya Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.